Hey guys, and welcome to episode 27.5 of the How to Make an RPG in Unity tutorial series. Now, in the last episode, um, somebody in the comments said that they wanted me to add either third person controlling uh, or thir a third person controller that can be switched between, you know, first person controls and third person controls, as well as lava that kills the player. Now, I'm not going to touch on the third person. Um, in this tutorial series mostly because it's really difficult to do um, because we would have to bring the armor pieces to like visually go on to the player and um, if we're equipping an item we have to visually show that the player is holding it and that just gets really complicated so we're not going to do that in this tutorial series however the thing that I can do is add the lava so this is not going to be a full episode because um, this is obviously an optional step most of your games will most likely not have lava um, but if you guys want some lava or some sort of like poison or whatever that um, could be used in the future, then I'll just show you guys how to do that really quickly. So um, what we're going to do is we're just going to create um, a cube. Oh, that's not a cube, that's a sphere. I'm just going to right click and create a cube. And then we're going to, you know, make this cube a bit bigger so we can call, make this cube like 50 or like 50, that's too big, a bit too big, uh, say like 10 by uh, 0 0.2 by 5. So this is just going to be like a plate of lava that's just going to be on the ground. And then we can, obviously if you have lava material that you already have, then that's great, you can use that. For me, since I don't have any lava, I'm just going to create a new material that's going to be red. So I'm going to call this lava. I'm change the color to, of this to be red. And we can drag this on, and this will be, you know, our lava. Obviously, this doesn't like fit um, our like realistic texture kind of um, theme. But if you, you guys can obviously find lava materials and textures online, and then just import it into your game. But I didn't have, um, I couldn't find any like lava textures that were free. So if you guys can find any, then obviously that's great for you. Um, but Essentially, this is our lava, and we can just change the name of this to be lava. And this doesn't have to be lava. This can be like a poison, like poison on the ground, or like like um, like any other other thing, like um, maybe spikes or whatever. Um, but essentially, what you can do is I'm just go into scripts, and I'm just gonna make a new script, and I'm gonna call this lava script. And we're just gonna go into the script. And um, what we would need to do is we need to locate our player. Um, we would need to locate our player health script. So if we just go and find our player, our player data is right here with our current health. And essentially, what we can do is we can come here and we can go here and we can say um, public floats lava damage. Public float recur damage recurring or like just damage recur and then on void update we can have another private float here that says that creates a timer and over here we can just say um I should know private void on collision enter on collision state actually um, what we can say is if collision dot other is equal to dot tag dot game object dot tag is equal to player. So if we detected a player, what we can do is we can just say um, uh, timer plus equal time dot delta time, and then if timer is greater than um, if the timer is greater than damage recur. Then we're going to set the timer to be equal to zero, which means we're restarting our you know timer, and we can also set it to be default at zero. And then we can apply the amount of damage, which is going to be from the valuable, ver, not valuable, variable lava damage, and we can go and say um, player data, or sorry, um, collision dot get component dot game object dot get component. Say uh, player. 
player data. Oops. And we can't reference player data because we don't have the namespace, I believe. That is right. So we need the namespace. So player data. Um, and once we get the component of player data, we're going to set the current health to be minus equal lava damage or whatever this is poison damage or whatever and that's pretty much it for what we need to do and if we go into our lava and we um, apply our lava script here um, we can set our recurve to be let's say two seconds and then make our lava damage like five okay so now basically what this is gonna say is it's gonna do five damage every single two seconds. So if we step on it, um, actually, it won't display in our health, however, because we didn't call on the update health function, I believe. Or the, there should be like an update UI function. Update stats, that's right. So we need to also call on dot game object dot get component player data dot update stats. So we're going to update the stats and we're going to go back into Unity and then I'm going to press play and let's just make this way faster so we can just say damage recur is equal to 5 or 1 and then lava damage can be 10. Um, so it's not actually taking away any of our, dam our health for some reason. Um, Let's check our player to make sure that um, our script is actually attached to the right thing. So yes, it is attached to the right thing. Um, void on collision state. Dot game objects. Dot tag. Player. And the delta time timer is greater or equal to. Reset timer to be equal to zero. Let's go back. Let's see one more time. 806. So we have 806 health. Um, let's look at our current health. So you can see it's actually dropping on the side here. You can see it's steadily dropping by five. Um, and, but for some reason, the UI is not actually updating, which is really strange uh, because we did call the update stats function. So. Um, So we got update stats, um, which should update everything. So let's actually just call it from our end. So we can just say um, collision game object get component blah, blah blah, and then we can put it up all that here. We put that here as well, and then finally we can put that in for our max health, and then we can just up delete update stats because we don't need that anymore. And now we can test it out and see if we are actually taking the 5 damage like we're supposed to. So we got 786. We should be at 781. But, or 776, but it's not. Oh, that's right. Um, because the reason that it will not display. We well, actually know that makes no sense. Um, because it should display. So we got Kerr Health. Which should be subtracted by lava damage. And we're actually setting the text. Um, to be equal to that. Um, and we should also be setting our um, our health bar to also change. So I'm just really confused because health slider dot value should be equal to Stats, we have all of this. Um, let's just in void update, let's just always update the stats. Um, because I feel like um, even though it'll take more 
computing power. I feel like we need that for debugging right now. Um, so if we go on, let's actually go and see here. So we're at 766. We should be at 761, but it's not displaying at 761. It's really, really strange because I'm positive that um, the health tech should be updating, but it's not. Um, so let's actually see what the health text is. Um, because maybe we have the wrong thing. So health text. Oh, that's right. That is indeed the wrong thing. So I'm pretty sure. Let me click on this. Yeah, so Okay. That is the wrong thing. So we actually need our health bar text here. Um updated not the other thing um, and our health bar text should be right here health text not the other thing um, so let's go here and see yeah it should be health text it should be health text yeah so this is this is like guys this is an example of why you need to always 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 have um, really good variable names because otherwise you just like get into stuff like this um, you get a mix up um, so yeah let me just delete our um, fun or, or update function um, so let me just find void update because we don't need to update stats every single frame now let's delete this Okay, now we can go back into Unity, and we can press play, and now um, we are taking damage every 5 seconds, you can see the health is dropping. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's episode. Obviously, this doesn't have to be lava, again, I'm saying this a lot, but this does not have to be lava, it can be whatever you want. Um, I'm actually just going to make this a prefab, um, because... We actually don't need this in the game anymore. Um, but again, someone um, suggested this in the comments. So if you guys ever want to suggest anything and that you want to see me covering, feel free to go in the comments and just comment it. I'll I always read the comments. Um, you guys can always you know put your suggestions there, and I will most likely say yes to whatever it is you are suggesting. You are suggesting. Um, so yeah. Um, with that said. Um, I am also starting streaming on Twitch, um, where I'll be doing Unity game development, uh, Minecraft, Valorant, and playing other games. Um, so if you guys want to join me on Twitch, um, I'll put the link in the description and the comments of the section of this video. Um, but yeah, with that said, that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye!